Hello everyone. Today we are going to take a look at the Silvercrest automatic soap dispenser. I did a review on another model, also Silvercrest, also from Lidl. Uh, but you know how it is with the spread of coronavirus, everyone buys uh, this thing like mad. Uh, you get 1000 notifications to wash your hands. Not that it's uh, not a good habit to wash your hands with or without coronavirus. So let's take a quick look at uh, this device and see how this works and if it's better or worse than the older model. Actually, none of them is older or newer, just different. So it comes with uh, batteries included, really nice. And this one seems a bit uh, smaller than the previous model. And here is uh, the older one, which I call older. And we can do a small comparison. So let's get on with the new one. I'm going to install the batteries. It uses four triple A batteries. Right, and it has a small switch here to power it on and a nice addition the battery cap has an o-ring around so if you use this in a bathroom and get somehow in a wet situation the water should not enter the battery compartment that's actually a very nice idea all right so it doesn't indicate anything does it work it Yes, it works and you can see the greatest difference is that this has a transparent reservoir while this one doesn't. This has this mirror cap here and it's kind of smart and not smart because it's smart as it shows the battery and soap level. This one doesn't have an indicator for the battery or for the level but you can see the level here and when it works it has an LED that lights up the soap here, so you can see the level directly. While on this one, uh, although it has this fancy LCD, it's under this cap, so, and you cannot see through it. So, um, it's kind of more useful to see directly than open the cap and see do I still have soap or not, or the battery. Why would you go the Way, this way to put an advanced panel here and you can control the amount of soap and everything else from here while you hide it under this plastic mirror thing I don't know what's the idea but I kind of like this one better and size wise it's just a bit smaller not, not a big difference and the cap, very simple cap, no hinge there, nothing. Let's fill it up. In case if you are wondering about the capacity, this one takes about 330 milliliters of uh, liquid soap. Alright, and now let's prime it. So I'm going to activate it a few times and there you go, it's working already. Uh, this one it's definitely noisier than the other model, so this one it's uh, more delicate. So all in all the what I call older model is definitely smarter and more sophisticated and more quiet but uh, somehow they messed up with uh, that uh, mirror cap. So there you have it, the newer, cheaper model, which works really nice and it's simple to use. So that was it for now. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and until my next upload, see you and bye bye.